Kinetic Type Series. Hello, hello. Today I'm going to tell you where to find some pretty cool variable fonts for free. And after telling you where to find them, we are going to play a little bit with these three beauties in Cavalry. So the first place is Adobe Fonts. If you have a Creative Cloud account and you go in the search box for variable, they are going to pop up all these different options. And if you go to check any of these fonts or typefaces, you have here these controls to see the axis that you could play with within, the, within this variable font, for example. The second option is just, just to go to Google, uh, Google Fonts, the Google Fonts library, and there you have a lot of variable fonts also but the problem is that there is not a great way to navigate through them at the moment and the way to to land there is just go to google search and you write google fonts variable and then you should land here but yeah but i'm going to tell you the best place today in 2024 to find variable fonts and that place is v slash fonts.com here variable fonts you are going to spend a lot of time here i must say because you know this is very very addictive and you have this is very well designed and you have a perfect way to find open source variable fonts and it's here in under this tag in licenses you click here and you go down and you go for open source fonts all these that we are watching now all these beauties and super interesting fonts some of them are pretty experimental as you can see but others are really really usable uh, for any given design so all these are completely free to use and you have uh, the download link here you have some crazy stuff like this little fella here i don't know if you can call this a phone but it's it's fun though so yeah some of these are great uh, let's check how to download some of these for example here the news reader it has two axes the weight and the optical size that's great and if you click here on this link and under this button you can go to download as a zip and that's going to be it open the zip and installing the font so again let's go there and play with the axis of some of these because some of some of them are really 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 interesting like this the home computer one where you can play with this the thickness of these lines and also you know the the width so the leak spartan this one is very cool and we're going to play a little bit with this in cavalry then this one the tiny which is made from dots this is amazing and then this is the champion of uh, how many axes a variable phone can have as many as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 axes this is pretty pretty amazing and i think we are going to play with these two because it, it feels like a lot of fun so again the link should be here you go here and you can download it and install it just for free because all of these are open source here we are and we are going to play with graduate with tiny and with leak spartan you are going to have the links to download all these three uh, open source fonts in the description of this video so if you click for example in this one and you click on this button here the axis that you can animate uh, should be available here so what i like about leak spartan 
is it only has this axis the weight but it's very very uh, broad you know the the options that you have so it goes from very thin to very very heavy so that's great maybe let's animate it we create a grid frame here and we go to the beginning we open it again and we create a second one by changing the value we also can play if we select the, the keyframes and click uh, on the right button to, with the magic easing options that we have for example let's say very slow in and very slow out so if we check it out again you see how smooth that was let's see the tiny if we click twice here and we go for this button again this is a one axis font but i find it very 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 interesting the way you can play with uh, the appearance of of or the visual style of these of these letters it's pretty amazing and then the graduate if we click twice here and we go and check the axis that we have it has as many as 11 axes so that's incredible and it has some really amazing and outstanding outstanding options to 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 deal with these with these letters for example here this axis so i think this one the graduate is one of the most amazing variable fonts that I, I checked out so again you are going to have the links in the description and I think that that was it uh, variable fonts are all about having fun and lots of possibilities so be open-minded and have fun with them because that's what this is all about Kinetic Type Series